everyone, I keep getting asked my thoughts on Palladium and Platinum, and that's because of the prices of Palladium has been uh, going up a lot lately, and so, you know, whenever something gets hot, people ask me my thoughts on it, so I figure it's about time for me to do a video, and then I can start referring people to this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read through this article, it's a pretty good article that has the um, good and bad about it, and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, which, um, spoiler alert, I'm going to give you some pretty good reasons why I don't invest in Palladium or Platinum for that matter. So, but let's get right into it. So here you can see they actually have a chart from Bloomberg and it says most precious Palladium prices have soared to a, rec to a record on supply shortages. And as you can see, yes, definitely outperforming gold and most of the other metals. So let's get in to see what they're saying. I'm not going to read this article word for word because... Pretty much everybody knows what palladium is. It's one of the, the four major precious metals out there. Uh, what it is, obviously it's a white metal. 85% um, of it is used in catalytic converters and car exhausts, where it helps turn toxic pollutants into less harmful carbon dioxide and water vapor. It's also used in electronics, dentistry, and jewelry. Of course, obviously, 85% of it is catalytic converters. And that's a lot like um, platinum. The difference between platinum and palladium, palladium, they're using it more and more in gas engines and platinum is used in diesel engines. And the thing that happened with Volvo, um, less and less diesel engines are being produced. There are actually more and more gas engines are being produced. And that is one of the reasons why you're seeing uh, platinum not perform as well as palladium. Plus palladium, apparently, um, what they say, palladium does a little better job in the emissions control and you know standards for emissions are getting around are uh, going up all over the world but here, here's uh why is it getting more expensive they're basically just saying that there is a physical shortage of the metal uh, production has been going down while demand has been going up um, uh, palladium has seen a deficit since 2012 a lot like silver just there is a very much smaller market in palladium than there is in silver so they can actually you know, these large deficits actually do hurt the price way more than it does for silver. Um, they're just saying that demand has lagged for a decade. Um, the reason why it's increased is, you know, emissions. That's why, yeah, I do what I just told you right there. The supply is tight. Palladium status is a byproduct. The platinum or nickel means producers aren't quick to respond to price changes. So that's why they're saying supply is tight. Speculators, they do think there is some speculation. They think China might be the biggest... Um, anecdotal evidence of stockpiling in China. Uh, don't, I'm not concerned about that. Who are the winners and losers? Miners, of course. Um, I found this funny. There's been a surge in thefts of catalytic converters from vehicles in the UK because of soaring palladium prices. Could you imagine that coming out in your, your car or truck? Someone ripped out your catalytic converter. That would really suck. Um, is palladium usually this volatile? Yes, it is. Uh, um, platinum soared in the decade uh, 1998 platinum soared more than 500 percent as a shortage caught the attention of speculative buyers rhodium man rhodium has gone crazy i might do a video on that later um which relied more than four thousand percent over a similar period before car makers found less ways to use less has again spiked towards a record palladium itself jumped ninefold from its lows in 2000 in, uh, 1996 to a peak in 2001 so that's ninefold in what five years as users worried russia's sales would slow can automakers use an alternative okay this is something that uh interests me so it said it is true that palladium's rise relative to platinum might prompt some car makers to work on substitution however there are no signs that that, that is happening yet and it's unclear whether such a switch might happen Research into the use of platinum shows that technological advances are needed before it can match the performance of the existing palladium-based auto catalysts. So that's what I was saying is how um, palladium actually does a better job. And with all these standards going up and up, they just can't do it with platinum. And with um, catalytic converters, plat um, platinum, that being one of the main usage of platinum, that's why you're seeing they're switching more and more, switching to palladium. But don't get too excited yet. Here we go. How do electric cars fit into the picture? Electric cars don't burn fuel, don't have exhaust pipes, and don't use palladium. Since most analysts believe electrification of the majority of the world's automotive fleet is many years in the future, in the meantime, palladium used in hybrid vehicles is also a growing source of demand. Okay. 
my overall thoughts on Palladium and Platinum. Unfortunately, I think they are... They're used just too much in one industry. Us catalytic converters is everything to both of those metals when it comes to demand. And company after company is coming out saying that they are going to... Um, basically, they're going to get rid of gas engines and they're going to go to all electric. Now, obviously, this is not going to happen you know, overnight. But even GM is saying they're going to be all electric in the future, as you can see in this uh, right on their main uh, website. And more and more electric vehicles are coming out. You know, you see Tesla, they're, they're rocking and rolling with their thing. GM says by 2023, they'll have electric vehicles in every single price point of vehicles that they sell. Um, so that is just around the corner. So my thoughts are, you know, I when, I when I buy silver, I buy it for the long term. I'm looking 10, 20 years out into the future. I'm not smart enough to know what the price is going to be next year. And I don't think anybody is. It's just a guess. But I know, you know, over a longer period of time where I think things are going to go. And I know over a longer period of time, electric vehicles are going to be, you know, the main, the mainstay of the automotive industry. And luckily, well, no, they use a lot of silver, a lot of silver, all electronic components. But as far as it comes to platinum and palladium, you know, there goes your catalytic converter. And, you know, I don't know what's going to, what those metals are going to do after that fact. So it's, I think that they can still go up for another, you know, another few years. So hell, um, palladium could go up to six, seven, eight thousand, ten thousand dollars. I, I don't know, but. I don't want to. I don't want to gamble like that when a metal has already gone up so much, and the main use, 85% of its use, is basically going to go away in 20 years. Because um, I think in 20 years, by 2040, I'm fair, pretty confident that almost all vehicles will be electric at that time, and most likely self-driving. So, but alright, guys, that is my thoughts on palladium and platinum for that part. Um, I just don't see their future being that bright when it comes to um, the technology that is going to put the catalytic converter out of business, to say the least. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I should have some more stuff for you guys soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.